Hey friends, it's C, the Earthborn Alchemist, and I wanted to talk to you about the Doctrine of Signatures. Now, the Doctrine of Signatures is something that reportedly Paracelsus, the father of modern medicine, came up with. And the whole concept being that any single plant will tell you what is inside of it by the way it presents on the outside. So it's a series of signatures, if you will. And those signatures are there because, you know, in the whole scheme of things, like Paracelsus was a very religious man, and in the whole scheme of things, the idea being that God created the plant kingdom to help us. And the way that we could learn how a plant would help us was by these little signatures. A plant would present in a way that showed us what it would help overcome. So it would present in a way that represented the disease that it treated, or it would present in a way that represented the organ that it would work on, or you know, the part of the body, that sort of thing. So I wanted to show you with my aloe vera plant here how that all works, and you know, talking about layering in the correspondences. So when we look at aloe vera, right, there's a couple of things that immediately come to mind. Like these leaves, they're big and spongy and they, they feel almost gentle now that gentle kind of nature in, in the, the like the body of the leaf the meat of the leaf to me that represents a cooling nature like it's it's not a hot or you know almost um, active or aggressive plant it, it's it's very it's very gentle and it's very cooling now it has something that stands in contrast to that and that is the teeth that run up the sides of the leaves like you see an aloe vera plant, it's got these teeth. Now these teeth, to me, they kind of look like needles. What do needles do? Needles stitch. When you stitch something, you're repairing it. So aloe vera straight away is telling you that it's gonna work on repairing parts of me, and it's gonna do so in a cooling manner. So there's a couple of things about that. Which kind of injuries are the sort that are gonna require cooling to be repaired or to be healed? sunburn for, for first or any sort of burn a burn on the surface of the skin aloe vera straight on the burn so this plant has just told me that if i have a burn this is going to be a great way to like it, it's cooling nature that spongy soft gentleness inside the leaf that's containing something that is going to help the burn inflamed wounds inflamed think of that term inflamed like it's it's hot it's flame it's inflamed so the cooling action of this plant, which it's told me it's got by its very characteristics, is gonna help knit that wound, the teeth, needles, knit. It's gonna knit that wound, an inflamed wound. Now, it doesn't just stop there. What's inside of my stomach? Digestive juices, right? <clears throat> Acid, digestive fire. That digestive fire can be cooled by using aloe vera internally. It's going to knit any issues in the digestive fire. So we're not just going to take it to cool the digestion for no reason. We want that digestive fire. It's how we digest. But then when that digestive fire starts causing us problems, when we start getting things like diverticulitis or, you know, other issues in the digestion that are, you know, ulcers, ulcerated areas in our digestive tract, this is telling me that through that cooling action, it's going to help repair or knit that damage in the digestion created by the digestive fire. That's how the doctrine of signatures work. And by using that, coming into alignment with a plant, approaching it from a place of heart, truly understanding the plant that you're sitting with, leaving your mind at the door, like it will come back to the mind eventually and it needs to be put through the filter of the mind, but allow it to come into the heart space. Sit with the plant, sit from a place of heart and allow the plant to start speaking to you. This doctrine of signatures, I call it the emerald language or the emerald tongue because it's a communication we have with the plants. And it doesn't matter where you are on the planet, if you have this ability, you can look at a plant and you'll know right away what it will do, how it will help. It's a very powerful skill to, to have, to develop. And all it takes is going out and sitting quietly in nature, that connection with the natural world. You know, it's, it's a largely lost skill because of reduction-based you know, mythologies, um, or, or, you know, that's not the right word, but reductionism, reduction-based science, where everything is pulled down to the, the like, you know, the, the active ingredient. Well, 
there's so much more to this plant than the active ingredient. And it's telling me that. All I need to do is show up and listen. That's the beauty of this. So go and do that today. Go and take some time somewhere, wherever you are, when you see this video, go and take some time. Go out into your yard or onto your patio or your veranda or, you know, even if you've got a plant in the house, just sit quietly with it. And what I want you to do is drop a comment somewhere, uh, you know, in, in, in this video, drop a comment and tell me which plant did you sit with and what did you gain from it? Let's have a conversation. Thanks, friends.